Hello YouTube, TJ Disney Life here. Today I have another really cool knife to unbox for you, and this one is from Uster Custom Knives. Yeah, without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. Let me open this box and see what's inside here. As you can see, we got a COA card here. Uh, it says neutralizer. So it's a uh, Uster custom knives. Uh, the the maker is Cody Uster. Here is their information, and the model name is Neutralizer. Such a cool name. And the blade steel is ACBL. Uh, I think the this steel is higher end steel that's similar to Magnicut, and the handles are T. I titanium pocket clip TI backspacer TI and pivot color is TI as well. Some stuff is uh, uh, flipper and some hole. That's Cody's signature in there. Cool. Let's put it back here and get the knife out here. Put the box aside. Here is the knife. Very good looking. This knife has that diamond milling pattern handle and 3D milled pocket clip. And it's a flipper and some hole open as well. Let's give it a flick. Very good flicking action. Closing, super smooth as well. As you can hear there is like a two sound when open and I did confirm with Cody that this is normal this is just the D10 ball break with the knife and very good acoustic and reverse finger flick works perfectly as well very good action and also this blade is in this kind of reverse tanto blade shape super good looking and i think the blade is kind of like a dark stone wash and the ergos are pretty good as well you can have all four finger grip here and there's no jimping on the spine but uh, it's quite comfortable i would say it's a frame lock. Drop shot action. Very, very smooth. He has a backspacer and lanyard hole as well. Pretty good looking knife. Okay, let's do some size comparison between this knife and my Spiderco Para 3. Okay, as you can see, the Para 3 is a little bit shorter, uh, both uh, from the blade and the handle. How about Spiderco PM2? As you can see, the neutralizer is a little bit shorter than the PM2. So, yeah, pretty good for EDC. And let's do another the CRK woman's on. See. Yeah, it's pretty similar, just a touch shorter than the woman's on. Cool. How about compared to the SPK Lamia? Yeah, the Mia is actually a little bit shorter than the neutralizer. There you go. Let's actually measure this knife real quick. So this knife has three and a half cutting edge and eight inch overall lens. Pretty good size. Yeah, just love to hear 
the flicking sound so they can yeah so good okay uh, now let's actually weigh this knife see how much this weights okay this knife weights 3.866 ounce not bad at all all titanium construction only weights under 4 ounce that's pretty good I think there are some internal milling yeah, I don't see I don't see any internal mailing. Cool. Very good sound. Okay, now let's actually cut something with this knife. See how sharp this knife is. Here is a piece of paper. Very sharp. Cutting performance is great can see it cuts really cleanly yeah super good looking knife closer look on this knife Very good looking. And the Fiji factor is there as well. There you go. Okay, now let's talk about price and availability on this knife. This knife usually sells for $900. And you can get it a little bit cheaper on the secondary market. But usually, yeah, around $900. And you can only get it from his job or on the secondary market. Yeah, it's a small volume uh, maker knife. That's why it's uh, pretty pricey. But I think if you can get it a little bit cheaper on the secondary market, it's totally worth it. Yeah, let me know what you think about this knife in the comment section. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.